Neato Squad, Incog bringing us back another reaction video. Um, I'm actually using a different type of software to try to uh, actually record this video. So let me know in the comments box down below or just let me know about liking this video and viewing this video. If you guys like this type of way of me doing it like this instead of doing it in my old traditional way I've been doing my videos. But anyway, as you see on the screen, it says Dr. Strange full plan, full plan explained. Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4 uh, Theory. So yeah, I know Avengers 4 is coming out in April. That's the end game. Also as well before that, Captain Marvel comes out in March, I believe. So I'm actually going to need to watch that. But yeah, it's going that's actually going to tie into the Avengers end game, the fourth Avengers. So yeah, um, like I say, let, let me know if you guys like this type of software with doing this type of video. But I remember the last time I did this type of video was with Thanos, like why Thanos deserved to win. And you guys actually kind of like that type of video. So this is kind of now Dr. Strange's plan explains one of the type of videos again with the whole Avengers thing. So without further ado, man, like, share, subscribe on this video. And YouTube, without further ado, let's get right to it. So play. Hi, I'm Eric Voss. And Avengers Infinity War's most enduring mystery throughout this wait period for Avengers 4 is what the hell was Dr. Strange thinking? Like, why did he surrender the time yeah, so that's what I said. Okay, I don't know about that though. But he he did the opposite though. Well, I saw all those all those um those instances and only one you win. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't really think of it into that, that deep like that. I never thought of it like that. That's crazy. Start time to tag in and learn this key lesson. Uh, thinking about it, why go to this trouble? They were so close to removing the gauntlet earlier. You can almost see Thanos' palm. But then Star Lord Peter Quill ruined it by losing his cool over Gamora's death and punching Thanos in his face, breaking him out of his trance. So why didn't Strange just remove Star Lord from the equation and open a portal underneath him and leave him with that handless coal obsidian on a map? That brings us to our second condition. I'll get to that, but first, thank you to our sponsor, World of Tanks Blitz. World of Tanks Blitz is a massive online game. It's really fun, and it's free to play on iOS, Android, Mac. Battlefield, where it's... Trying to skip ahead on this. Did Nebula to join the group in order to use guilt to weaken Thanos? 
Another understated game changer in Thanos' battle was the arrival of Nebula. After all, it was she who confirmed that Thanos murdered Gamora, which led to Quill's fateful decision. And interestingly, hmm. Nebula is left alive with Stark on Titan at the end of the film. Also interestingly, after Thanos' snap, he has to again confront his heartbreaking decision to sacrifice Gamora for the Soul Stone. What did it cost? I think Nebula's survival is a key condition to Thanos' eventual defeat. She knows how much it weakened Thanos emotionally to have to kill his favorite daughter. And that guilt is certainly something that Stark can exploit, perhaps, using his own guilty memory machine. Barf! Binary augmented retroframing. And we've seen from hmm. Thanos that there is an orange briefcase with binary augmented retroframing written on it. It's gonna factor into the Avengers 4 plot somehow. I should also point out that in the Infinity Gauntlet comics... Goodness gracious, who ever thought this much would go into this? ...and lead the way to his defeat. So I assume she must play a role in this endgame somehow. And I think that also goes for the other Marvel heroes who were benched for this battle. Bringing us to our next condition. Starting with Ant-Man. I think Strange needed an Avenger to be left in the Quantum Realm at the time of the snap. Remember, Doctor Strange briefly visited the Quantum Realm during his magical mystery tour through the various realities. Perhaps Strange knows that something about the Quantum Realm can help him. Quantum Energy or someone else living in that Quantum Realm city that was spotted in the background of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Another bench here. Oh, wow. I think Strange needed Nick Fury to finally summon his ace in the hole. In the final moments of Avengers Infinity War, Nick Fury Right, and that's why the most powerful Avenger. I assume mm -hmm. the strangest vision of that one future scenario, Captain Marvel joins the hero lineup, and the only way to get her into the mix was to allow Thanos to wreak such a calamitous disaster that Nick Fury had to give her a ring. But the exact lineup of that final assault on Thanos is probably the most important condition. Doctor Strange needed the original Avengers to be back on one side with the right motivation. It's pretty easy to notice that the survivors of Thanos' snap included the original Avengers, including Hawkeye, who will appear in Avengers 4. And isn't it interesting how all these characters witnessed a heartbreaking loss? Stark watched Peter Parker dust away in his arms, Cap saw his best friend Bucky go down, Thor saw Loki and Heimdall die earlier in the film, and you could argue that Banner and Natasha are already haunted by all the blood on their hands. And who knows who Clint could have lost in the snap? Maybe his whole family. You don't get that kind of haircut on a win. <laughs> After Civil War divided them, they needed a shared sting of defeat to bring them back together. And that brings me back to the moment Strange surrenders the Time Stone to Thanos. Why does it seem to appear from out of nowhere, hidden amongst the stars in the background? And why does it glow as it floats over to Thanos, when, as we saw throughout the movie, Infinity Stones only seem to glow when they're being used? I think the Time Stone is being used in this moment. So he was using it? the place he was hiding it was in the future. Stay with me. It is looking more and more likely that Avengers 4... Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Right now, this is really hurting my brain because there's, like, so much stuff that's going on in this video. And, yes, um, that Captain Marvel movie that's coming out in March before this one comes out in April is gonna tie in a whole bunch of stuff before this movie comes out. But it's just so many things that's going through my mind. Like, right now, we're thinking about that with the whole time stone and everything and it being used at them. Oh, it's crazy. Man. My head is hurting right now with all this right now. Like thinking about this, it's crazy. And make him think he won, but he really didn't win, right? Yes, this 
this all sounds very complicated, I know. But Dr. Strange is a very complicated... Complicated is definitely an understatement. All right, man. Um, yeah, I think right there is where we're going to actually end it off right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, goodness gracious. Um, God, my head hurts. Yeah. Um, like, share, subscribe on this video, guys. And I'm out. Peace.